going to talk today about willow and propagating it on your homestead. Uh, it's a great thing to have around if you have sheep and goats. Uh, it's a good um, supplement if you're in a feed shortage or just for a snack. Um, the goats uh, do have preference of some breeds over others. Uh, this one is Hooker's Willow. Um, we have other kinds that they're just not, they just don't like them as well. So we, we will only propagate this one. Um, so Willow is kind of cool. It's easy to propagate. You can take a broken branch uh, or cut it with your snippers. And anything up to about the size of a pencil around in diameter. And you can just stab that into the ground. We'll show you. You can just stab it into the ground and make sure you water it if you're going to propagate willow. And try to do it early or late in the season. And that may or may not grow, okay? One thing is, it definitely won't with Nova knocking it down. One thing is, is you want to bury it deep enough, you know, I don't know, probably about a third of the way up. And I like to plant them, uh, and this is how I was taught to plant them, is by like threes, to, to stab three sticks into the ground. Um, and then maybe one of them will make it. And if it, more than one makes it, then they are then more stabilizing for each other. So you do, when you're doing this, if the leaves are out, you may just want to rip them off because sometimes they'll make it, sometimes they won't. And if you're just stabbing the sticks into the ground, you want the, the plant to concentrate on the root system. So you can also take, and I've had these maturing here in the pond, take some willow sticks, and this is why it works, just stick them in the ground. You see all those little white things there? Those are all roots. This is just sticks I, I cut or ripped off or whatever, and I tossed them in some water, um, and they grow roots. And you're better off to do that than you are to stab them in the ground because you've given it a leg up. So I'm actually going to let those bake just a little bit longer. See all the roots all the way up there? So anywhere where that's in the water, that's going to form roots. And you can see that the, the leaves are dying on that. So it's not necessarily profitable to leave them on there. And when you plant those, again, plant them early or late in the season is better. And make sure you continue to water them prolifically through the, the season if you want them to do well. So in the natural, you see this, how the, the plants are just kind of out into the pond and they're laying over and anywhere where they're touching the ground, they're forming a root. And let me just tell you how well they can do. Hi, ducky. Over here, we planted some behind the kid pen. See that kind of silver, grayish, greenish bush? Those are just, like I'm talking about, just a couple of stakes I just stabbed in the ground. Um, and those are good and tall now. That's, this has been a few years back. And of course, it's easy access for giving the kids a snack. And they know exactly what those things are. And then back here in the back of that scotch broom that you see there, see that really tall grayish green tree there? Those are also willow. See how tall that's got? Now that's from a cutting that we had. Um, they were little rounds we had caught like uh, for firewood, but we didn't pick it up. We just let it lay there. And they were about, oh, I don't know, three inches in diameter and about six inches, six inches long. And they grew really, really well. And I, see how they go? It's just candy for them. It's 16% protein, um, which means it's like giving sugar to a kid. They absolutely love it, and it, it's really good for them. Don't over-harvest, however, because I've read that they can put forth a toxin uh, when they're picked on too much. See, it's it's really handy. Got a nice little snack here for the goats, and a really great addition to the homestead. That's Willow.